Hello and welcome to episode 93 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you how to create a 10 km road race plan just using Todoist and one project. Now, this is sort of continuing my health and fitness theme uh, that I began last week in my episode on working with Evernote. But in this particular episode, I want to show you how you can plan to do a 10 km road race just using Todoist. Now, I have to confess, I've been a runner for a long time, over 20 years, and I love running and I love the whole atmosphere of running a 10 km race. It's a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere and I strongly recommend that you guys get involved in it because you will have a lot of fun and the sense of achievement that you get from completing that first 10 km race is amazing and I strongly recommend. And the good news is Todoist can help you. So let's get started and I'll show you how to set up the project. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is start the project. So let's go uh, 10, K, um, 10K row, I'm going to put this in capitals, can't spell today, um, it is getting late. So 10 kilometer road race, we're going to add the project. Oh, before we do that, let me just edit the project and I'm going to give that a label of a nice dark blue. So there we go. So now we have the, the, the home, the, the page of the, the project. Now what I want to do is to create some uh, dividing lines. So I'm going to create uh, a couple of three dividing lines and the first one is going to be um, training because that's the most important so I'm going to use the non-completable task and the bold formatting so if you remember from previous episodes this star sign or asterisk makes it a non-completable task the double exclamation mark bolds it and we're going to put training so that's that and to close off the uh, <coughs> To close off the uh, bolding, where is my words today? We click on the double asterisk, so that's that done. Uh, I'm going to put in a fruit task in, so go for a run, and I want to do that every two days. Now, let's say this is a project that's really, really important to me. What I would do is I would create a little subheading, so I'm going to put training, um, like this. Uh, I'm going to call this P1, which gives it a, a must be absolutely done today. And I'm going to do this every two days until um, 31st of April. Um, so that's in. So when we look on this, this is going to go every two days ending 2017 5.01. So on the 1st of April, uh, 1st of May. So I don't have to worry about that, that's just gonna disappear. Now, the other thing that I want to do is I want to create a, um, <clears throat> a long Sunday run. So training, again, I'm gonna bold that, go, uh, go for Sunday run. Again, that's gonna be a P1, it's gonna be at home. And I'm gonna do that every, Sunday. So that's in. So the only thing I didn't do is put a label in here. So let's go at home, done, save. So what I've done is these are going to stand out. Now there's only one other thing that I would want to do is I want to indent those one move. So let's move those in. Uh, I forget it doesn't like to do that. <laughs> so there we go. Because then I can close the training. So that's my training done sorted now i know that you are now going to say go for a run might come up on a sunday and that's true enough it might come up on a sunday um, there may be some very complex um, <clears throat> i could for example i think what i can do is every two days not sunday uh, maybe a formula i could use but that's just over complicating things and i'm not really wanting to do that so let's add another task this time we're going to put in Another non-completable task, which is race. Uh, sorry, I want to highlight that. So race, da -da add the task. And in here um, is research local 10K races for April. 
um, and that's definitely a research project. Don't give me that. Uh, at this stage, I'm not going to give it a flag and I'm not going to give it any date because I don't know when I'm going to do it. Um, and what else I would like to do is I want to keep my transportation. Um, now, there's a, you could do this this way. I would probably settle it, but I want to show you this is transportation. So maybe I don't want to drive. Um, so transportation. There's an uncompletable task, and I'm going to get research bus routes to race. Now, there's nothing I can do about this until I've found the race. So I'm not going to give this a label. Now, here's something that's really cool. What you can do is you can bring that in, and I can also bring this in. So now when I close, I bring this one in too. There we go. Bring those in. So now we've got all these in. Um, and I want the transportation that's it so when I close the race uh, as you can see here um, I've got my transportation in there and I can open up that but at this stage I can't do anything about the bus routes until I have found the race so that's why I'm going to keep that in race and keep it there um, so that's just one one of the things that you can do now let's just say that I want to run for a charity but I'm not sure so this is another one so I create the star sign space double inspect charity like this charity charity um, and again research uh, possible charities I could run for Again, now at this stage, I don't know whether I'm gonna, when I'm going to do this, but I can do this at any time. So let's just say research. Um, oops. I'm going to call this research. And there we go. Bang. But I'm not going to give it a date. and I'm going to put that underneath there. Done. So this is basically how I would start the project. When you're doing a 10K road race, the most important thing is the training, particularly at this stage where we're about halfway through January. The other things can be done when you have a bit more time, but the training is the most important thing. And therefore I would have that on there. So if I go into my today, um, I've got training comes up at the top, go for a run. I want to see that first thing in the morning because then I can sort of like schedule my day. If we go into the next seven days, um, and look at tomorrow training is there it's right up at the top with the other four, five things that I must do tomorrow um, but it is there and it's standing out when I put in that training um, thing so what what I'm trying to say with this is don't overdo this kind of uh, highlighting I training in square brackets because you'll start becoming blind to it but it's a really really good way of uh, updating yourself and just making things stand out as it does here for today it stands out when you put it in there okay so that's it for today i hope you found that useful so that's creating a 10 kilometer road race a very just a way of building up a a kind of <clears throat> um complex project if you like but i hope you found that useful i hope there's some tips in there that you can use for yourself and maybe that you could develop this into other kinds of projects that you may want to to create over time so thanks very much for watching today uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get all the latest tips and tricks of using todoist and until next time i wish you all a very very productive week